Beano Black here, folks, and basically I haven't changed my channel design. I have accidentally I went in there. I did change it when it originally came, and then they've somebody has put me over to the new one every once in a while. So my site should look like this. Uh, I'm not saying I won't go back over to the new, but the idea that the, also the idea that channel viewers will see links here, including subscribe and add as contact. So I'm trying to figure out the legalities of the subscribe okay because the idea I don't charge any money for my videos and so the idea that I'm gonna be studying that but until I study that legally uh, I'm not going to start subscribing uh, to people because of the number one that I warn people about the idea that when they change the wording from friends to contact okay that's legal ramifications. Okay, they're doing this for a reason. Uh, tube, maybe, and I just say tube because basically I didn't say the whole name, and I always try to be politically correct on that and legally. So the idea that you can say tube and you can say face as much as you want, it's not the full names of I don't know what. So the idea uh, also that viewers will see links here, including subscribe. Okay, so I, as far as I know right now, it's the idea that there, you just don't want to end up subscribing to people, that the idea that you don't know, it could end up being some of your enemies or something like that. And I already know that I've got enemies in my friends box and so forth and so on. And if anything gets, you know, deleted out of there, the idea that friends are there and everything. So let's get away from the, all that. Let's get all of this crazy ass data we got going on. We got some great data sharing in space going on. So realize the idea that when I, and the idea that probably why the idea that I'm getting quarantined out possibly on some of my videos that I made uh, and I'll show you that but you see that birthday comment and then the idea that yeah what is it the idea and if people get stuck in t trying to link in they hit the that there's a very one of the most largest publicated books in the world and we know what that is and it's religion and the idea it's history also okay but people human beings and generations go by and live and die and people rewrite that stuff okay so the idea is we do have history of certain notations of stuff. So yes, it somewhat does match. But it's so old and gets just convoluted by human beings rewriting it all the time and putting their spin on it that you never know through time what stuff is. Now in the future, I'm going to be able to maybe have a lecture or something somewhere and show a lot of photos of stuff that's been happening in Antarctica. Uh, basically, even with a cloud mass or an object of the dark uh, showing. And so the idea that... Make sure that you realize that there's different angles in different shots where the idea that in different times of what the satellite gets. I'm going to play that movie there, try to look at that a little bit too. And you get this action here. And I appreciate and want to say thank you to Soho because they're doing a great job showing us a lot more than what they used to show us. Because the idea that I got a feeling some people probably got kicked in the ass a little bit for the idea that... They are, we are taxpayers, and we will get to see this stuff. So that's the graph on that, and then you can see the triangulation as they do the time lapses as this was coming in. So there was way more than one thing, and I'm going to go to the, some photos. Yeah, sun grazers sight my ass. We've known about it for a long time. I've been telling you that the sun is in the supergiants, and it's getting its ass kicked, okay? So now we got all this stuff, comments coming in and everything like that too. So the idea that uh, I don't know if I can believe that this is right so far. They're telling you this. But let me show you some proof here, folks. Check this out. We know we can trust the Navy and most every every branch of our military service. And then the idea that check the tail out and the time. Remember the time. That's the tail, folks. Okay. And I can blow into a thousand. We'll go into a thousand percent. But that's a tail. So this is another one today. Okay. And then I'm gonna say that. Everybody loves white polar bears and the idea that it was great to see the idea that, that we can show all of our colors on the Coca-Cola cans and the idea that we're still donating money to the polar bears. So the idea that peer pressure is not all, but people bitch enough. Now there's triangulations in these objects you see there too folks. So I'm going to try to zoom in on this thousand but you can see already that the tail's that way and here again here's the date. So the idea that this isn't Lovejoy 
because this is from behind the sun and let's go to IE unless they admit that they made a mistake on the because there it is coming in there was a bunch of triangulation like I said what was this what's this because it's going right along with it okay what big planet is that that's moving along in space that it's following and also there you will see this pop up here unless they blocked it out and they did that's why they took my footage down last night see that cut through come through because an object pops up here and basically what it was was another comet there was way more than one comet and more more than one planet that's not can't comet lovejoy's head okay either that or there's part of the triangulation that comes in and they're not telling you the total triangulation of it all okay now let's see if this one shows it because when when it comes in You'll end up see, you should be end up seeing another planet or or comet start here, and that's what they did. Well, I think I got photos. Hang on. So there we go. We see the birthday and we see the messages in the in the flags down there. Probably the rest of this will be all photos, but we do see that trail. And maybe I'll try to zoom in on that. Well, maybe we'll play this movie. But where's that map? Check that out. See, view from Earth. Okay. So that shot was from behind the sun. Okay. So since since that's from behind the sun is where this shot is hang on and I saved this one it could be a new shot for us but there's the clock ticking okay and there's the time and there's that tail folks okay and this is from behind the sun so this is a different one so there's way more than one folks there's way more than one Lovejoy and Lovejoy could have been a triangulation and uh, playing games well it uploaded so it's on the tube and remember, currently we have this triangulation, okay? And yes, I know that's probably a flare of the sun, but it also could be an object that's just sitting there all the time and that's meted, met up with that triangulation there, okay? So then we also have that and that there. And this has moved a little bit, I think, from the last time I pointed it at a shot like that. And there you go with that shot, okay? Okay, folks, trust me, this dark spot, it's not a UFO, it's an object in space. Probably another comet that went by, or object, doesn't matter, by Earth, okay? At Antarctica, because there was a clock before, there it is, and then... Well, there would have been one after, and this one might be even it. Go through it. I'm going to queue up some other pictures. The idea that you still see the black blotch come up on the back windows here, and they're lining the vehicles up for that to be able to get a reflection there because it's lower, and it's farther south. And there's also going to be another video today, of, and they're doing uh, lab tests out here also, measuring it and so forth. And there's your lob in your sun and deal, and i got pictures for you. Now, the first thing you're going to say is weather balloons for an excuse. Okay, watch the clocks. And the idea of weather balloons blow off right away, folks. So, and they move a lot faster than that also, okay? So watch the clock, and it's not weather balloons. That's actual, and they also cut that out of my video last night, the idea of the flops of these dark black light action, triangulation. Okay, I'm at the site to get this. This is dark light, okay, at this time. Watch the clocks. Always watch the clocks, folks. So there's dark light again, okay? And that's that, like that halo from the sun, but check the clock out. Yep. That should be that halo from the sun, because that would be the sun that did that, okay? It's given a dark light from the sun to earth, folks, that halo that you see around the sun, that little halo. So this is where you want to watch the movie at now, because the idea, the, this, this is the other shot, the webcams that shows it better, because it's moved farther to, I believe, the south, because I think that's supposed to shoot north, okay? To the south, okay, yeah. So that's to the south. So the idea, it's moving north, okay. So this is mo it, the object is moving north, and it's pretty much this what we see on Fireball all the time, okay. So there's the movie playing, and the idea that even in the photos that I've got, I'll be able to show you in a minute. The idea at the late hour time, okay. This is a.m. So every time evening between something, you know, 22, 1900 hours, 1800 hours on to uh, 22, 2300 hours or something like that, you will get this object, and there it comes, okay? And they don't like you showing it. And I got good photos of blown up of this here action, folks. So it comes and gets in front of the sun, that dark spear that we've always been seeing. So now it's visible down here. Now we know why they always used to set up down here because they've been seeing it for the last maybe year, who knows how many years they've been seeing it, okay? But it's probably gotten closer and closer and closer as we see all this stuff getting close, okay? Let's see what I can find at K. Okay, same type of webcams down there at the Brits have, and we want to thank uh, the Jack and everything for this. Check the red, and you can see it. And then we'll go to the photos again. I keep saying I'm going to go to them, but here we go. And then the idea, I just went to this one. I've never looked at this one, so this is one to be able to look at the webcam down there. Also, Haley is probably farther north. We'll have to find out about it. 
If I'm wrong about north or south, well, where the hell you know which way we're going to be looking at? Because look at the time. That's our object. Let me cue another photo up. And there you go. There's our object again. And I'll cue one more up here. And there you go, moving away at that time because it's not the sun, folks, and it's smaller than the sun. More than likely, Rigocanteris B, way up high and a long ways away from Earth. But really And here's our seahorse flopper that we have seen that the Chinese and we caught on. I Watch my old videos. Watch the baby blue kachina and thanks China because the idea that they showed us that. And we've seen it from the beginning of, and you also have that planet there. And you also have this coming in as you see the tail on that. There you go, folks. Way more than, as you can see, this is the remnants of Lovejoy. Okay, And then the idea that we're going to get to these other shots here real fast. When I can give you something dramatic, there's, there's great footage to catch and play it and take the photos and take a look at stuff. And let me cue up. Once again, as, as uh, Joy hit uh, the force field of the sun's electrical magnification, it starts getting brought out like I figured it would, like I was showing you those other pictures. So, And then it hits and glances by. And there's more than one as photos do end up showing the idea that you will get certain Soho shots. There, There's an example right here. There it is, okay? Back and forth. I'll go to these shots. There was more than one. It was a triangulation. And the idea I just showed you that other one was coming. Okay, then this one hits. So there's a lot of stuff. You gotta watch it, and then the other one comes up, okay? So it didn't do a U-turn and there's not another one. This is the other one that gets a full tail that I showed you a minute ago. Now let's show you what they originally showed you on Helios. Yeah, and the feds need to live at least leave us American citizens alone. Get the hell out of my FCC regulated telephone line. And here's the proof, folks. They're making the, these, this thing will only record 15-minute movie, and then it says that it rejected because it's too long. They didn't want to let you see this, this, or this. Okay, and I'm showing you it now. I'm showing you some of it. And here's at Nehemiah where you get a better look at it and watch these photos because the black object gets in front of it because it is basically reflecting itself right here, folks. You get a 3D hologram of it when it gets in front of the sun. And watch these zoomed up shots. Okay, you'll just have to freeze these shots as you go through. And here I zoomed in for you, folks. Check this out over here, and you'll see because my arrow will be shown at that. So the idea that you get the triangulation, and that that is more unlikely what is in front of the sun is right there, the baby blue kachina, or whatever you want to call it. The Hopi prophecies, basically not Hopi prophecy. They knew that the idea that they're passed down through generation to generation that this stuff will come back, okay? I.e., everybody has seen uh, a, uh, they make those circular nets and they make uh, the uh, Dreamweaver or whatever uh, star, okay? So, the Dreamweaver, I'm possibly saying it incorrect, and as you see, it is there in front of it, okay, and it's not the sun, it's Rigocanteris B or some other star that is hell a long ways away, because that's why it's small and gets hidden behind the station a lot of times, and there you go, because where is it at now? No, not there, is it? It's not in front of it, okay? There you go, you see in that shot there that it gets in front of it, and basically it's moving to the south. So, they, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but basically... It's either that you got to admit that Comet Lovejoy is actually a triangulation, or either that or a very reputable place is wrong on calling that Comet Lovejoy because I just showed you it's not. Okay, more than one comet coming from the other direction, so the idea of Big Bang Theory, folks. Okay, here it is blown up off of Helio server. Almost looks like a rocket, right? Well, forget that. It's actually matter. That's blown up a thousand percent, folks. So it's actually a comet in matter up there. Okay, let's get through these. It's the last minute. And you just have to freeze them. I'll let them focus in. Okay, and then you'll realize I'll get to it. There should be enough time left here so that you know that the idea of this is pulled off of Helio server off of one of the yellow footages. And see, I recorded a yellow footage last night. And then the idea that they pulled that off. It wasn't the same one because basically they've yellowed or this is one of the yellow shots. There's tons of shots that get from it. So, and also, what I want to make sure is look at this circular around it, folks. It's got a halo around it, okay? Yes, 
uh, I've got space physics down. I can travel through space now. I know how to make a spaceship that'll get through anywhere in space. So more as fast as I can upload.